Hey guys, um, we are back with yet another video on angles. Now I hope the light isn't too bright on this side. Maybe it is. Let's try and adjust this just a little bit more so it's not too... That looks... That's better, isn't it? Okay. Tonight, what we're going to do, I say tonight because it's night time where I am, we are going to talk about why the number or why the formula n minus 2 times 180 gives you the sum of all the angles in any polygon. All of these are polygons, even this strange looking one. We're going to find out what n minus 2 means and why it helps us understand what all the angles in a polygon are. So let's start with the triangle. Now do you remember how we are able to know what angles are in a triangle? Well immediately you know that within a triangle, any type of triangle, whether it's equilateral sorry, or isosceles or scalene, the angles within that triangle are 180 degrees. But let's try and use um, something we learned a few lessons ago. Remember we said we can work out how, what all the angles are if we can find out how many triangles there are. Because if we find out how many triangles there are inside a polygon, all we then need to do is multiply the number of triangles by 180 and it's going to give us all of the, it's going to give us the sum of all those triangles, which is the sum of all the angles in those triangles. So do you remember what those rules were? Well we said what you can do, let's start with the triangle, you can pick any of these angles, any of any corner really, they're corners but they're angles and what you need to do in order to find out how many, uh, sorry what the sum of all the angles are, you would find out how to make a triangle how you do that is by going from the angle you've chosen through all the other angles until there are no more triangles. But the problem is you can't go through an adjacent angle because you'd be going along an edge. Why can't you do that? Because let's say I had this angle and I decided to go through this edge. Well, if I wanted to go through that angle, well, I have to use a straight line which means absolutely nothing happens. You don't end up with any more triangles. Alternatively, you could go like that, but then that's not a straight line and that doesn't make a triangle. So when you have a triangle, whichever angle you start from, whether you start from here, there or there, the only way to get through an angle, another angle, is to go along a straight line and then it makes no difference. It doesn't create any other triangles which means you have only one triangle. So that means that when you have only one triangle, you can't make any other triangles out of it. So what does that mean? Well, remember, the amount of sides a triangle has is three. So n equals three. One, two, three sides. What happens if you apply this number to our formula? Well, then n minus 2 becomes 3 minus 2 times 180 degrees. What's 3 minus 2? It's 1. That means in our triangle, there's, there's one triangle. That's what n minus 2 means. One triangle times 180 degrees is 180 degrees. Obviously, you know that our triangle contains, or the sum of all the angles within a triangle, is 180 degrees. What about a square? Let's move on to the square. Or actually, it's not actually a square. As you can see, it's four sides, but they're not equal length. They're, we're talking about a quadrilateral. Again, using the same rules. Pick any angle. Obviously, we can't go through this angle or this angle because it's not going to make any difference. If I try to go through this angle to this angle, 
I've got to go through the edge. Same with that. There's only one place I can do it, which is through here. It's the only angle I can reach without going through an edge. What does that do? Well, that gives us two triangles. Now let's apply it to our formula. In a quadrilateral, there are four sides. So N equals four. Let's apply it to the formula. N minus, sorry, singular N equals four. Four minus two times 180 degrees. Four minus two equals two. Two times 180 degrees. That equals 360 degrees. Of course, you already knew that the angles in a quadrilateral add up to 360 degrees. And the reason why that is, is because out of the quadrilateral, you can make two triangles. Now, let's move on to the third shape. This time it's a five-sided shape. But again, all of the five sides are not of equal length. What we have is a pentagon, an irregular pentagon. Let's apply the same thing. Let's try to find, pick any angle. Let's pick this one and draw a line through each angle, any angle, as long as we don't go through these two edges. One, two. Again, if we go through the edges, it's not going to make any difference. We're going from this angle to that one, no difference. This angle to that one, no difference. So that means there's only two angles we can go through. This one and this one. Now look at this. What do we have? We have one, two, three triangles. In a pentagon, the amount of sides are one, two, three, four, five. So N equals five. Again, let's apply N minus two times 180 to this. That means five minus two times 180 degrees. Five minus two equals three times 180 degrees. And because my arithmetic is so terrible, three times 180 equals 540 degrees. So there are 540 degrees in a pentagon, whether it's irregular or regular. And notice again, N minus two equals three. And you will notice we were only able to make one, two, three triangles out of a pentagon. It seems like for any pentagon you have, you can only make n minus two triangles. That is the total number of sides minus two. And that n minus two triangle, when you make them, you multiply them by 180 because the internal angles of a triangle are 180 degrees. That gives you the sum of all the angles in the polygon. Now let's go to this hard one. I don't even know what we call this. Well, we would call it, it's got one, two, three. It's got seven sides. It's a seven sided shape. I've forgotten what the seven sided shape is actually called. Doesn't matter. If we were to apply, we were to apply N minus seven, you would get, sorry, N minus two times 180 to find the sum of all the angles within this shape, you would then get seven minus two times 180 degrees, which equals five times 180 degrees. Let's do that, five times 180, that equals 900 degrees. Now, I'm gonna actually show you, remember here, N equals seven, because there's seven sides, n minus two equals five. So what we're saying is there are five triangles. 
that you can make within this polygon. Now there's a bit of a problem here because let's say you want you chose this angle here. Well you can get to that angle you can't go through that one because it's the same length. You can get to this angle, you can get to this angle, but then you can't get to that angle because you, you're going outside of the triangle. You can't get to this one either because it's being blocked. But you can still make triangles. And let me show you how to do this. It's much easier than you think. We could go to here, great. You agree that's a triangle, right? Then what can we do? We can go to here. But then we can't find any more angles. We can't go around to that. And if you notice this line, I should really, what should I do? I should actually use a proper, something with an actual straight line. Because when I'm just drawing freehand, it doesn't work. But, so let's do this properly. Let's draw a line through here and one here. Now you can see that this line and that line isn't a straight line. So you've made one triangle. You can then go to another angle to make a triangle. Let me use my board rubber, much cleaner. So then you make a triangle here. And obviously this line and that line isn't a straight line. So there's one more triangle you can make. Have I done that right? Let's try. Exactly, there you go. So now you can see by carefully working out where we can do angles, you, when you get a shape like this where your, your lines are blocked, you can find other angles and make triangles. So in the end, we have got one, two, three, four, five triangles. So those five triangles times 180, which is this, equals 900 degrees. So there you have it. Whatever your shape of your polygon, N minus two times 180 always gives you the sum of the internal angles. And just for an experiment, let's just make up a crazy one. I don't know how this is going to go. I'm just going to draw anything now. You want to try this experiment at home. If you do, make sure you use something with a straight edge because then you could get into trouble. One, two, three, four, five. Here we go. Six sided shape. That is an irregular. Oh, hexagon. It's an irregular hexagon. So, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six sides, right? We could, so n equals six, we could immediately go to n minus two times 180 degrees, which is six minus two times 180 degrees, which is four times 180 degrees which is, I think it's 720, 4 times 180 equals 720 degrees. So that's the sum of the internal angle. Sorry, I think I twisted there, where the sum of the internal angles of this. And what we're saying again is n minus two equals six minus two equals four. So n minus two equals four. So there should be four triangles in here. Well, let's see if that's the case. We can draw a line from, I need my big, big straight line. Here to there, sorry. We can draw a line from here to there. Well, we've got one triangle here already. Then we'd have to draw a line from here to there. Oh, that's another angle, sorry, I didn't even, this is an, 
it's not an enclosed angle, it's like a wide angle. And finally, I think that's it. Is that it? I've done something wrong here. One, two, three, four, two, three, four, five. My, my bad, sorry, it was a five-sided triangle. So five-sided polygon. So n equals five. So n minus two means five minus two. And it's three times 180. And that equals 540. So this five-sided shape, let's make sure it had five sides. Two, three, yeah, four, it has five sides. This five-sided polygon has three triangles. Like all polygons, they will have n minus two triangles. Five sides, n minus two is five minus two equals three. And there we are, we have it, one, two, three triangles and three times 180 degrees equals 540 degrees so this is why whenever you get any shape polygon the sum of all the angles inside the polygon will add up to n minus 2 times 180 degrees that's the number of sides minus 2 and then you multiply that by 180 degrees I encourage you to experiment with this. I'm sorry, my shape has gone totally kind of warped. I move, moved a bit to, maybe I'll be able to sort that in post production or whatever they call it. Anyway, so there you go. The internal angles of any polygon is N minus two. It can, doesn't matter whether it's a shape like this it's got loads of angles and you can reach all the other angles by starting from any angle or a shape like that doesn't matter as long as you can make triangles that will tell you the sum of all the angles within a polygon so I hope that helps as I said I encourage you to practice this a little bit and see how it works and um, what I'll do is I'll put up the chart at the end of this video so you can see um, I'll put the table that I had in the previous video which will show you how many sides a 10 sided has how many sides a 9 sided has all the way down to a 3 sided and maybe you can use that when you're trying to um, determine the number of um, sorry the sum of all the angles within a polygon so hope that helps um, then until the next video, see you then.